definitely takes a lot of effort to develop a certain level of discipline and most of the time it requires a whole lot of work and for that a person needs a lot of strong will which in turn comes from deliberately developing it and the way you develop it comes from the discipline a bit complicated right that's because you need to have one to attain another and it goes both ways and it is difficult when you are disciplined you get things done but developing that kind of discipline is not a piece of cake some people are just driven towards their goals so discipline comes naturally to them and then there are people like me for whom discipline is just a trait that lasts as long as that burst of motivation does gladly textbook of physics suggests you break down the problem into the finest component and start from there take each part and solve them individually eventually you will end up solving the situation because the more the components the simpler they are to solve that is what's written in that academic book and that is the concept of reductionism Something similar is what we can use to develop discipline without putting in a lot of work and effort. Although this technique might be slower and may look much simpler, it is effective. Instead of developing discipline as one trait, we consider the reductionism and we break it down in several aspects of our life. Believing in physics and Jackie Chan, here is the karate kid way of developing discipline. What's going on in this scene is that The kid has approached Jackie to learn kung fu. He is kind of undisciplined, self-absorbed type of guy. He walks in, takes off his jacket and just throws it randomly on the floor and start acting like he's a pro in fighting or something like that. His soon to be master Jackie asks him to put up the jacket and hang it on the place, the hook it is meant to be. The kid did as asked, although not willingly, and then Jackie asks him to take the jacket off the hook, throw it on the ground, pick it up again and hang it again on its place again and again for a few days. According to Jackie, this is where the kid's training already started. Put it back on its place. That is the simplest most effective way of developing discipline. After you return home from your classes, office, gym, hang your clothes on their proper place. Don't throw them on the bed and chairs. Designate a defined place to various items on your table and every time you use them, you put them back where they are supposed to be. Keep the glass and plates back on the rack after you drink water. Before your mother screams at you, fill the water bottle and keep them in the refrigerator. After a good night's sleep, put the blanket at its place all by yourself. That is it. Simply put them back on their place and keep doing it until you no longer have to think about it. See, this does not cost you anything. Neither you need to enroll in any course nor do you have to spend a lot of willpower. You only have to be conscious about keeping things back at their places. The only disadvantage of this method over other traditional ones is it is going to be slow but over time they are going to develop that discipline you need. These little steps will add up and you will begin to see the changes in your life. Actually not only discipline but other virtues like willpower, cleanliness, ordered life and maybe more. You can adopt all these little habits at once or simply start with the clothes. Keep them back at their own places again and again.